Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 7 of Darwell20's Let's Play of Stoneblock 3. Uh, today I want to make another steam boiler. Uh, I want to make it kind of-ish far away from this one, because I want to have a room for a lot of uh, speed upgrades if I can. Um, that reminds me, there's, there's a new thing from Create that lets you do speed upgrades a little bit better. I'm curious what the tech level of that is. So there's the fly, uh, this thing, rotational speed controller. How do you make that? Uh, we need a precision mechanism. So we have to set up a, a, a recipe sequence for that guy. All right, not a big deal. We can make we can make that happen at some point for sure. But that thing's super cool because it lets you like adjust the rotational speed like to, to whatever you want without having to do a big sequence of large and small gears. But because I don't have that set up yet, I'm going to do the big sequence of large and small gears because that's what we're going to do for now. And then we'll switch it up. Does that sound cool? Okay, so real quick, I'm going to set up another boiler, right? Uh, with, uh, let's see, so I'm probably going to want this guy here is where I'm thinking he should be. And then he'll set up shafts like that maybe, or, you know, the shaft could also... I haven't quite figured out how this thing's... Yeah, that might be cool. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll definitely have to do like a rotational adjustment here. So let's see, where's my... There they are. I want to get these crushing wheels set up today, because that's obviously priority number one for me. So... Um... Super quickly, what I'll do is set up the, the steam boiler and get that thing ready to roll. So all we need is the pipes and the pump, and we need some speed updates and all that good stuff. Let's make sure that this thing is here. Cool. What if I just put you like right here? Would be neat. Um, that could be cool. We'll see if I can get, you know, the rotational thing going here, but that, that might work. Now, remember, we do need to um, have it be a little bit faster. So we'll want to, you know, figure that out. That should be fine. No, you don't work that way. Yeah, that should be cool. I guess I can't pick that water up. Between episodes didn't do a whole lot. Did add another water block here, and unfortunately the particles come all the way past it because I put it in front of the brass funnel. Um, because I noticed when I put 16 or, or basically more than one in here at a time, sometimes it was getting to the funnel without... And I added the filter there, but because the source block wasn't there, um, it would stop, but it wouldn't get hit with the water blast from here. So I'm going to have to redesign that at some point, but at least it works. So that's cool. Okay, that all looks good. Yeah. Now you, sir, I'm probably going to need more shafts. I almost certainly need more shafts. What do we got going on over here? I have a few more of these. I could probably make a few. That'll hold up. What else do we got that I might want? Belts, maybe. I don't think I need anything else. Though I will probably need some gearboxes, because you know Dyer. He kind of needs gearboxes a lot. So let's see, what do we got? Um, it would be super cool if I could put like a, can I put this here? I think I can, right? That should work, right? And then just to make it look good, I'll break these blocks, though technically not necessary, but definitely makes it look nicer. Okay. Sweet. Uh, then all we need is a, is a manual crank to get us going. And then we also need the, uh, don't forget we also need... The campfires. There we go. Campfire, good. One, two, three. What am I missing? Oh, wow. I'm out of wood wood. Oh, rip. Just grow a quick tree. One of them. There we go. And an axe, please. Do I not have any axes on me? Oh, 
I need to get a better axe at some point. So much to do that's better. But once I get this crushing wheel set up and have access to, you know, the, the last set of resource generation, that'll be slick. Now, like I said, technically, I think you only need one campfire here. Uh, but I think it looks better with, with multiple, right? Yeah. All right, so you go there, you go there. We can now start the crank. Oh, wrong direction. Yep, that's right. Do you not rotate like that? I thought you would have connected gear-wise. Oh, I guess not. Today I learned. All right. Uh, so what I could do... What if we did this? And... That. That should be cool, right? Can I crank here? I can. Neat. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. That works, right? That'll do. That 100% does. Alright, sweet. Now let's get this thing set up. Um, so you guys don't connect that way, really. But I think if I had a thing in between, you would. Uh, how do we normally set this up? What I think we do is we use a we use a, a, a gearbox, right? That's how I do it usually. So you could do three gearboxes would be one option, right? Does the crushing wheel show you on its thing how to set it up? I always look for like a cool way to do it, and I always wind up. Not doing it super great. See, in that one, it looks like there... There must be, like, a gear in between them or something. To switch their directions. Alright, but let's start with... Let's start with this. What I know I'm going to want... is to rotate this guy. And you can rotate them, by the way, like by doing this. That's another way to do it. The gearbox is just a more compact way to do it. Cool. All right. What I might do is go this way. Right, and then we'll see how many speed updates we can do, right? Because we're going to have a limit to how many we're allowed to have here. And then I think we can sneak it in on the bottom of this guy. If I did this, it should work, right? Yeah, now we're cooking. Cool. Pretty close, actually. Where you'd want to be. It's always interesting to build these neat gear contraptions. It's one of my favorite parts of Create, if I'm being completely honest. Because it's... I'm not great at it. I will acknowledge that. I'm not saying I'm good at it. Don't get me wrong. But, it's fun. What if I put, let's see, I'm curious how we could make this go in like a really good way. What if we did something like this, where it was a vertical gearbox, right? And then we belted like this. That's cool, but it's going the opposite direction. But that's cool, right? Yeah. That works. I think that works. Now, what's our, so 512 and 512, does that mean we're at 1024 out of 2048? So we could technically make this go faster if we wanted to. Technically accurate. Technically could go faster. But it might be fast enough for now. We just need to reverse it, which would just need one more gearbox. Which I think we can make. 
We're a little light on the resources, but I just need to do some crafting. But if I threw a gearbox here, that would reverse the direction, and now they're they're going into each other. That's cool. Now talk to me about a shoot, because I would like some of those. Right? Um, three iron is what's needed for a shoot, two of which are hammered into plates, and then we'll get four shoots from that. So I know we want to put a shoot right here, right? And then anything we put in the chest will go in there. Cool. Now, can I put a shoot right here and then anything will output right into that? Will that work? I don't actually know that one. I don't know if I've ever done it that way. I've always done it with belts, so I assume this will also work. But let's see what happens. A couple dark areas, thanks to my wandering tra traders. Anything? Crushing wheel controller, 16 gravel, shoot 16 gravel. It's possible that... Oh, no, 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 look, things happened. Yay, that works! Awesome. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that, it's working. Cool. Cool. All right. So now if I crushing wheel sand, is that anything particularly interesting? I don't think so. How about dust? Oh, there's some dust right there. That's only washable. Okay. So the crushing wheel uses are many, obviously. Okay. But I think gravel looks like it's the only one that has a custom thing to it, right? I think so. If we look in the book... Crushing gravel will result in all these drops. So it's really just gravel that we're going to want to do. And that should complete the quest for me. Nice. Got another flux point. Okay, nice. All right, I'm... Oh, two of them, actually. Sweet. So there's still 16 gravel in there. So I wouldn't mind making it a little bit faster if I can. You think we can sneak in just a little bit more speed upgrading into this? Probably. Give me a sec to uh, redesign it just a smidge. Looks like I may have overstressed it. Looks like I may have overstressed it. Probably because this is taking it up, right? Because we're doing 2048 and we were at 1024 before, so technically doubling it would make this stress be 2048. But I forgot to account for the fact that this runs. So yeah, that's that's definitely a thing. So let's re-crank you up and we'll just stick with the speed that we had for now. Until we get something like a better a better dude, right? A better. Get it going again. Are you behaving? You rotated for some reason. There we go. Cool. All right, I'm just going to put it back to the way it was then. All right, so in theory, throw a bunch of gravel in there, and then you'll spit out a bunch of new resources that I have access to now. That is awesome. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now I'm debating where I want to, you know, expand from, because I really need to, like, probably redesign some aspects of this base. Uh, it's obviously a little bit rough, but is that pretty par for the course for a dire video? I, I would say yes. I would say it absolutely is par for the course. We do have to figure out where all these mobs are hiding. My goodness, there's like a bajillion of them in there. I think they're, like, through here. Oh, yep, there they are. Hello. See why I hate wandering traders? Look what they did to me.
Loot Bee has spawned. Oh, goodness. I think we're pretty safe now. Thank you. That looks like there's more in here somewhere. Probably another wandering trader spawn. Oh, there's another one. Try not to let them blow up. If I can avoid it, that would be nice. Should probably have a better sword at this point. I mean, diamond's very affordable to me. Oh, there's three of them in there? Come on, creepers. It's just funny to me, because I, I gotta wonder, is it is it a mod that's that's tweaking the Wandering Spadertron? Because clearly they're spawning inside, you know, some some stone, which I presume they're not designed to do initially. I would I would assume that that's not a normal behavior for them to spawn inside stone. Is there another one here somewhere? Definitely feel like I'm pretty close to either being right on top of or right below him. May I may be missing this one. Or he could be above me, that's also an option. Oh, there we go. Now the good news is I don't think there's any creepers in here. Just a zombie. Okay. That'll do. Just trying to light up these dark areas where mobs keep showing up. What we got here? Not gonna find this one, I don't think. I'm gonna skip this one. It's far enough away that I won't hear the annoying noises. It's only bats. Alright, so got a bunch of good loot. Well, maybe, I don't know. Bunch is a strong word. Put you guys away in there. Got some gunpowder, that's neat. Perfect. Okay, so, um, crushing wheel up and running. How great is that? Yeah, very great. I'm going to go ahead and, and throw a bunch of gravel in there, actually, because I want that thing running, like, a lot. Yeah, we're just going to throw a ton of gravel into this thing, and I think that'll be useful. Because I don't think there's anything else we crushing wheel, right? It's just gravel. Uh, unless there's another resource that I'm not considering, but I think that's all there is to it. Sweet. So with the crushing wheel up and running, we've effectively completed this chapter. Yes, we could get to higher tier cobble gens, but let's be honest, I don't even know I need them. Maybe at some point I will, but not right now. Um, so what should we focus on next? It's a great question. It's a great question. Can I get a feral flare lantern? Because you know I love those. Do I have glowstone? Where do I get glowstone from? Yes, I do have glowstone. I get it from uh, washing soul sand, right? I would love a Feral Flare Lantern. That would be a good thing to have. Nice. And that's a quest complete, which means, you know, good loots. Hey, a linking tool. That is actually handy. I didn't have one of those yet, because I didn't I didn't get there yet. But that's nice to have. Alright, uh, anything else in particular? A mining gadget might not be a lie, but that hammer I have is pretty OP, so we'll see. Um... I don't think there's anything else at this point that I need, but it looks like Compact Machines is in the pack, which is cool. Uh, trash cans is a thing we'll get to eventually. Pipes. Um, but you wanted me to make the pipe wrench? Is that what you wanted me to do? Did I not make one of those? Oh, that's right, because I needed brass rods for some reason. For some reason I needed brass rods, which I didn't bother doing. Let's see what else we got here, quest-wise. Uh, passive resources. So we could do the chicken thing for passive resources and mob grinding utils. That's definitely a plan for for nearby future. But we've got the, 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 the resources. Can I get into refined storage yet? Because um, there is a storage chapter. Uh, it looks like my options are either refined storage or applied energistics, right? 
Um, man, I really liked how the new applied editor dis logistics worked. Um, now here's the thing, disks. Um, I forget what mod it was in ATM7 that added the drives. Um, so let's see, there are 4K refined storage drives, and then there's portable item cells. Let's go with 64K, that'll be a shorter list. Portable fluid cells, item storage, fluid storage, chemical storage. I don't see the disk for AE2 that does the non type limiting, unless I'm missing it. Um, so with that said, I might want to go refine storage. It'll probably be a little bit easier to get into anyway. Uh, so let's consider refined only because I also did AE2 last time, right? Uh, so for that, we're just going to need some quartz and rich dingots. So we're going to need a hefty amount of quartz for this. So that means lots of washing of soul sand, which shouldn't be too hard to do right now. Because we just wash the soul sand and then we haunt more sand, right? That should be fine. Uh, the problem is we don't get a particularly large amount of quartz from this. So is there is there a neat way to get quartz from crushing diorite we can get quartz from at a 25% chance? It might be a little better than what we get from the soul sand, but still. I don't know if there's like a super nether quartz crust cluster from budding crystals. That's cool. Interesting. 23% chance to get that. Is this the mod? I think this budding crystals mod, I think I saw this recently. Is this the one that like grows? Let's see. Is there a... Yeah, that's cool. I might want to look into that one for sure. Okay. We can also watch crushed gold ore. That's an option. And uh, it's a 50% chance to get another quartz. And we'll also get nine nuggets from that. So if we do that, it's like it's like smelting our ore, right? Because crushed gold ore. So we take our gold, we crush it, and then we wash it. We'll get the same amount of resources gold-wise as we would. And then in addition, we'll get... Okay, that's a way to go for sure. That would be cool. Okay. And just to be clear, uh, there's also chickens. But diorite? Diorite's a thing? Uh, yeah, no, that's not that's not going to be beneficial to me. Uh, there might be another way to get diorite, but yeah, no, I think we're cool. All right, so if we took gold ore and we crushed it, that might not be bad. So if I put the gold first, will it take the gold and then and then go from there? I guess we'll see if this 16 goes away or the gold goes first. Contains 16 raw gold. Okay, no, so it did do the gold first. That's cool. That's cool. All right, and then we can wash the gold, and that'll turn into a bunch of gold nuggets with a 50% chance of making quartz. Yeah, that works. Sweet. Okay, be right back. So I just want to call out that I just found a loot bee that is dropping a nitro tier battery, a piece of dark matter, mana steel ingot, a piece of red matter. <laughs> what? What? Look, it happened on camera. You know I didn't cheat it. I had to start recording like the moment I saw dark matter in my inventory because I'm like, nobody's going to believe that. They're going to be like, die, are you cheater? But no, legit, just dropped red matter and dark matter. I'm So my impression is there's different tiers of loot B, um, would be my guess. Because it feels like they drop items that are in the same vein of rarity, right? So, like, them dropping red matter and dark matter, like, completely different than the one that would drop, you know, other stuff. Now, I did get a chance cube. So, what are the chances <laughs> that um, this chance cube is not going to be a horrible disaster? Considering I just got such a nice piece of loot from that loot B. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ow. Ow. That's actually a lot of vexes. I mean, in fairness, I have no armor. I may I may be in trouble here. I could probably just pour lava down there, right? Well, that would be one way to solve that problem. Do vexes get affected by lava? I don't even know. Run away! 
I'll just hide and, and eventually they'll despawn, maybe? Man, they hurt. They're fast and they're small and they fly. It's like the worst. I know I'm spam clicking, but I'm trying to keep them away from me. Remember, I still only have a stone sword, which is not ideal. That's right, Dyer. Lead them up to your base. Oh, look, I got one. Got the other one. See? Spam clicking works. Spam clicking works. I don't want to hear it. How do I have compressed cobble? I have no idea. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. All right, cool. I'm going to call that good enough. Sounds like there's another dark roomy type thing over here-ish. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of mobs in there. Oh well. I'm not going to deal with that problem right now. What I'm going to do is plan out our next sequence of things to do. So I think I want to get into tech, and I want to get into refined storage if I can. That would probably make my life a little bit easier going forward. So I think refined is doable, right? If I want to get refined going, let's clear out our to-do list here and get into, we're going to want a controller. We're going to want a disk drive. Um, are there multiple? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so just, no, not a disk manipulator, a disk drive. Everything's colored, so they're all collapsed. Uh, oh, there we go. Disk, no, that's regular disk manipulator. Oh, at least they're separated. Okay, that's cool. I see. Where is the drive? There it is. Disk drive. Um, I'd love a 64K storage just to start with, but that might be a little pricey for me right now. We'll see if that's doable. Um, and then we're going to want a crafting... Wireless crafting monitor? Wireless crafting grid. Yeah. Now, the other thing with AE2, though... Um, there was the Infinity Booster card. That's another thing. AE2 WTLib. Is that the one that we used in... That looks pretty cheap, actually, resource-wise. Is that the one that we used in... Because I really, I really did appreciate having, like, infinite range AE2. That was pretty cool. I might have to consider that. All right, so here's the decision I came to. I'm going to start with refined storage because that's the easier approach, right? I want to get some kind of digital storage system up and running that I can auto-craft with. Then, once we get a little bit later into the game and we have access to higher tier stuff, I'm going to test to see how the Infinity card works. Because we don't have the mod in this pack that gave you the um, Across Dimensions one, right? What we do have is an Infinity Booster card from the AET WT library. So that's a separate mod. I don't know how this one works. In previous versions, this was like consumed like for infinity booster points or whatever. Remember that work? Uh, so I don't, we're gonna have to test it and I don't wanna go in, AE2 will be harder to get into at this point, but it'll probably be easier to get into later. So I'm gonna start with refined storage. We'll test AE2 later and then make a decision in a future episode as to whether I wanna switch from refined storage to AE2. How's that sound? Does that sound cool? I think so. Oh, and hey, speaking of ways to get better stuff, I just looked to see what would happen if I washed crushed iron ore. We'll get, the same number of iron, but in nugget form, and then redstone at a 75% chance. So I 100% feel like you should take the iron that you get, throw it through the crushing wheel again, and that's kind of cool. Now, what do you get if we crush you up? You turn into this, which if we wash it, just gets me aluminum. So no real use in doing that. Um, how about zinc? Anything cool from that, dust-wise, excess-wise? That, when we wash it, we get gunpowder which is placeable for some reason. Uh, <laughs> tin. Okay, cool. That's neat. And that will get me washed. Nothing special. Uh, lead. Which is neat. And then when we wash it, nothing special. And then osmium. Hey, we're getting osmium. That's cool. I should get an osmium sword and pick. That would be a cool, <clears throat> cool thing to do. Um, so osmium, I think I'll just smelt a stack of because, you know, why not? Doesn't hurt. Uh, let me remove all these death points. So smelt that up. Okay. Because Osmium makes for a decent sword and pickaxe, for sure. Right? 100% a cool thing to use Osmium for. 
And then I can just trash these dudes. And in fairness, I could probably get the Osmium armor, right? There's an armor set for Osmium. You know, no reason not to. We've got literally infinite of this resource at this point, right? So chainmail boots can go away, and now at least we have some semblance of armor, and you know, that's cool. Alright, so then you should have gotten me a bunch of stuff. Let's get all this crushed iron ore. Um, what I'll do, because I have a non-16 value, I'm just going to drop the 10 on there manually, and then put these here. And then the same for the gold that I was washing previously. After you go through and do all that. So you're behaving, right? You're 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 washing before you get there. Now I could absolutely add to the blacklist here, but I think things are getting washed before they get there, so we're good. But in the event that for whatever reason that wasn't happening, we could handle it, right? I think that would be fine. Cool. Let me borrow you guys for a sec. Man, that is a lot of junk though. That's funny. Holy cow, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of nuggets. We should automate turning nuggets into ingots here because that is just a hilarious amount, isn't it? Uh, what I'll probably do temporarily is just throw a table here, but I can do this. There we go. That is super cool. And look how much redstone we're getting from that, which is awesome. Yeah, I should definitely set up a better washing system. Something that'll be like, you know, a little bit neater and cleaner. For now, this was obviously like, a, hey, let's get up and running when we don't have anything yet. Um, that is awesome. That is an awesome amount of redstone and an awesome amount of quartz and an awesome amount of iron. Um, so what I'll probably want to do is get ourselves a controller, right? Uh, it shouldn't be too bad to get. So I just need some of you. Okay. Uh, I believe we're going to need some smooth stone if we don't have any at the moment. Or regular stone, not smooth stone. I hate that they changed the name of it. You have no idea. And let me get, I believe we're getting a lot of coal from this process. So that's a great way to get coal for burning things. Excellent. Cool. And then we also want to smelt, I believe we can smelt this directly into silicon, right? So that would be a good thing to do. Boy, oh boy, am I going to have to figure out power. Okay. So first things first, we get a controller. And then we get... Pretty much just need one of these. So we are, ooh, ooh, did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. Ooh, that's a little bit tricky. Ooh, that's different. Um, doable though, probably doable. We're gonna wanna get into power next episode. What do I need to get into power? Anything particularly interesting? No, looks all doable. With the coal and the clay and the lava bucket, that's 100% doable. We could absolutely get into power next episode. Anything fancy here that we need? Uh, capacitors are nothing particularly difficult to get at this stage. Um, and that might be a good way to get into some better power gen. Because there's the furnators, which burns things and can generate lots more power. Um, and then there's the, the magmator. I don't know if there's, like I said, a good way to automate lava just yet. Um, though that said, let's see. Um, lava buckets. If there's a vulcanite amulet, eh, I would need more dark matter. Can I turn red matter into dark matter? Because remember, I got red matter. I don't think so. Not without it. Not without some kind of transmutation tablet thing, right? Because the, the EMC equivalence is there, but we can't easily do that. Um, so not yet, unless I got a little bit more luck with loot bees and got a few more dark matters. Meh, maybe. Uh, what else do we have by way of lava? So there's, um, there is the lava sigil from blood magic. That's possible. Uh, there's the, the lava ritual from blood magic. We'll see about that. Maybe what else can I use to get lots of lava? Anything? 
Uh, magma crucibles can do it. Fluid encapsulators, bottling machines, in-world transmutation. I'm not seeing a great option for automating lava. Uh, we're going to have to see lava chickens. Chicken drops, lava eggs. It's like one-off bucket. Okay, that's cool. That's neat. Uh, so that's an option. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot by way of lava. Uh, how do we get lava chickens? Coal chicken plus nether quartz chicken. Oh, hey, look at that. You can craft a chicken. How about coal? That is flint and log. Both of which are craftable. And then you breed them, you have a 20% chance. Interesting. We might want to look into chickens. We might want to look into chickens. Um, but at the very least, we can manually make some lava. But it would be cool to be able to make... Uh, and then what else from power, generator-wise? Um, so there is uraninite, right? That's another option. So uraninite, where does that come from? I'm just curious where we would get that from. So raw uraninite comes from crushing deep slate. Okay, crushed deep slate has an 8% chance to make uranium. So at least we know where to get uranium from. Okay, so there's that. There's the magma. There's the thermo generators. Uh, and then there's the power generators. So we'll consider that. But for sure, we need to get into power because that will give us access. Actually, there's a lot of custom recipes in the Energizing Orb. That's how we get a lot of the um, Project E stuff as well. So, absolutely going to want to get into power. So let's do that next episode. Does that sound like a plan? Next episode, we'll come back, we'll get into power, and then we'll um, have access to power generation, hopefully. Uh, I'll look into if there's a good way to do lava generation, and maybe I'll get lucky with another loot bee. I'll keep an eye out for them. Now that I know that I can get, you know, dark matter and red matter from loot bees, if I could get a, if I could get a lava thing, that would be awesome. Though, I don't know if I'd be able to easily get a Klein star and charge it before I get um, a Philosopher's Stone. So even if I had a Vulcanite Amulet, I, I really need to, you know, let's see, how do we make, how do we make energy collectors? That's energizing with, you know what, not terrible, alchemical chest. These things are all doable. Diamond lattice. Mm, we would need some netherite scrap. So probably even Project E wouldn't be a good source for infinite lava. So I'll have to look into what we can do for lava in this pack because I honestly don't know. For now, Dell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to get into power. For now, take it easy.